Hi, and welcome to another pantry challenge. Um, today, I'm starting my pantry challenge on the 2nd of January because the first we kind of just ate up leftovers. But um, I am starting off by making a coconut rice and a broccoli beef. This um, coconut milk was one of the items I wanted to use up, and it really turned out so fluffy and delicious. My Even my husband really enjoyed this. So I use about half the can of coconut milk, but in total I use four cups of liquid to two cups of rice, and I did it for 20 minutes in the Instapot. And then I had this London broil in my freezer, so I sliced it up into thin slices and just seared that. For the sauce, I had, this is how I kind of store my garlic. I'll peel a bunch of stuff in a jar, um, and this was the last of it. And I just did some sesame seed oil and some butter. And then I didn't show, I forgot to record it, but I did put flour in there. And then I used coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. And this is kind of my base to my sauce. So I added some ground ginger, some salt, uh, a little bit of brown sugar, uh, black pepper and then I think I show it a little later but I did add red pepper flakes to the sauce as well uh, and then I just seared my meat until it had a good brown crust on it and then I am kind of focused this week on using fresh things out of my refrigerator that I had in there. So I steamed some broccoli. And then here is the spread. My sauce turned out amazing. Honestly, I would give this recipe a 10 out of 10 if the meat was just a tiny bit tough, but it was very good flavor. And the rice was so delicious and fluffy. I'm going to be doing this to rice every single time. So I just combined everything and um, it all turned out really good. I just served my broccoli beef on top of the rice and then um, I'll link the video where I make this jello. For the next meal, I um, kind of was making like a tamale pie, but instead of making a specific mixture, mixture for the tamale pie base, I used leftover chili I had in the freezer that I wanted to use up. Um, now you can replace this with your canned chili, which I had planned on doing, but I forgot I had this chili that I froze in the freezer, so I decided to use that up. And then I just quickly made some cornbread. Um, I am coming out with a video on dry mixes, so just be patient with me. Um, I'll try to get that one out soon. This is my cornbread mix, and I did add a little bit of honey to make it a little sweet. And I did actually half what the recipe calls for on um, because I didn't want a thick um, cornbread top. I wanted just like a good thin layer. So, um, and it turned out perfect. This, I honestly, I would make every single recipe I did this week again because they were all so good. So, and then I just topped it off with a little bit of cowboy candy. And then I just baked it in the oven until the cornbread was done. And then for my serving, I just topped it off with sour cream. Okay, so for the next meal, I did make some banana bread. Um, I was kind of looking around and I seen the really ripe bananas on my counter and um, they were almost bad. So I didn't use as many bananas as I usually like to use in my banana bread recipes, but um, I just decided to make some and um, I'll put down the recipe down below. I don't normally put honey in the banana bread, but um, I've been trying to recover from the holidays and not have as much sugar, so I tried to make it a little less sugary this time. And for this recipe, I did add applesauce. Um, I usually like to add 
instead of like a sour cream, maybe like an applesauce or a pear butter or even cranberry sauce I will add in sometimes. Okay, and for later that day, the next meal, I made kind of like a taco skillet bake, I guess you could call it. Um, again, I was finding things in my refrigerator that really needed to be used up. Um, I always look in my shop my refrigerator first just to make sure I'm not letting anything go bad. And I sauteed up bell peppers and onions. And then um, I just chopped up a tomato. This is going to be for the top of it. Um, and then I already had some cooked sausage with red pepper flakes in my refrigerator that I had planned to do a different recipe with, but it was sitting in there too long, so I decided to use it. And then I used my canned chipotle black beans. Um, I can I didn't have any more of the small jar, so I used half of a big jar, and I kind of just layered it. Um, I did cheese, the meat, bell pepper and onion mixture, and then more cheese. And then I baked it for about 15 minutes. I believe at 350 and then I just topped it with tomato and avocado and then um, I did put some hot sauce on it and we just ate it right out of the skillet my husband and I with chips so this was probably one of my favorite ones this week for the next one um, I started off by making some mayonnaise for a um, cheesy I call it cheesy onion bread that I like to make um, if you want I'll put the full um, what I do for how I make mayonnaise and then I just chopped up some onions really thinly sliced my mayo did turn out a little more runny than I usually like it but um, then I did Parmesan cheese and some Worcestershire sauce and this bread is honestly like our all-time favorite thing it's so good it has such a good flavor and then I had to take care of the baby, so um, I had my husband take over, and he made some sautéed green beans with bacon. And then um, I just topped my bread off with that cheesy onion mixture, and um, I just broil it. And then we did fry up some bratwurst to go with dinner as well. And this was another amazing meal. And this is what the bread looks like after it comes out of the broiler. I just like to um, get it crispy. Let me know in the comments um, if you guys end up making anything similar to these. And I just want to mention that this week's video is a tiny bit shorter because I'm trying to have these uh, pantry meal challenge videos come out on Fridays. But I thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.